<laughs> okay, so this, this is the ancient castle. This is where I work. Isn't it nice? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's not council. It's very posh. <laughs> it's a bit garish, some say. Some people say it's actually gay. But I don't think it's that bad, but it's garish. <laughs> okay, I work for the evil baroness. me being frightened. <laughs> right? That's who I work for. And, and whenever she comes up, and she is evil. Let me tell you how evil she is, first of all, just, be, just to give you an idea. Right? For a start off, she kills wild animals with her bare hands. <laughs> you'll know when the evil baroness comes on, right? Because you'll hear this music from Uncle Phil. It's your job. Then it's all down to you, boys and girls, girls and boys, right? And this is what you have to do. You have to do some booing and some hissing. Now, booing is easy, isn't it? We'll do it. Just one, two, three, boo. <laughs> easy. But hissing is a bit trickier. So I want to practice a bit of hissing. Because, no, just, just wait. Wait. You're wasting your own time. <laughs> I think it's a good idea that to start a show like this, with one big long hiss. And then you, you don't need another big long hiss till the interval, right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm down to three, I want you to give me the best hiss you possibly can. One, two, three. That's cool. Oh, like frying bacon. Fantastic. <laughs> That's very good. Now you're all covered in spit, but it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay. Now then, the Baroness has got two daughters and they are ugly. Oh, they're ugly. Honestly, they're, oh, they're so ugly, they lay down in the garden last week and the cat tried to bury them. <laughs> so I know what you're wondering now, I know what you're wondering. You're, you're thinking to yourselves, why do you stay here, Buttons? I say, you're thinking to yourselves, why do you stay here, Buttons? <laughs> well, I can answer that in one word. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cinderella. I love her. I do. <laughs> That's it. Here she comes. Isn't, isn't she lovely? Isn't she? Yeah. Oh, wouldn't you like to cover her all over in chocolate and then lick it off, eh, boys and girls? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to run with her through a field of wet corn, whooping like a mad Welsh bus driver? Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, maybe that's just me. Anyway, <laughs> when I find the right moment, and this is very scary for me, so I'll be on my side. When I find the right moment, I'm going to tell her that I love her. Oh. I'm going to tell her. <laughs> Football's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. <laughs> How sweetly she sings. <laughs> Poor Cinderella, it's a, it's a terrible story, I tell you. Her mother died, tragically eaten by a bear. Aww. Grizzly, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and then her father married the evil baroness, the evil baroness who hates Cinderella, and then he died. Aww. Leaving Cinderella here to be treated as no more than a skivvy or common slave. So she's pretty, but she's a bit of a loser. <laughs> Buttons. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> you see, my stepmother, she hates me so much. Yes. She's... She enjoys making me work my fingers to the bone. Why don't we kill her? Why don't we kill her and throw her rotting body to the wolves? Hey! 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 Oh, no. <laughs> now you're supposed to be horrified by that. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years ago, children would have been going, oh, help, help for today. No, yes, kill her. Why not disembowel her as well? <laughs> Bottoms, my old friend, yes. No, sorry, I got carried away there. It won't happen again. Oh, I've got a joke I want to show you. Okay. Yeah, I knew I'd find one eventually. Here we go. Are you going to show me something exciting? Yes, I have to go up these stairs first, which takes about 25 minutes, but we're all right. Here we are, we're on the top deck. Isn't it nice? I, uh, I must tell you. What? How long have we known each other? 
No, oh, years. We used to scram apples together, do you remember? You'd always make me climb up ahead of you so you could watch and check I wouldn't fall. <laughs> That's so me, isn't it? <laughs> well, anyway, um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time. I really... <laughs> Something up your nose. No. <laughs> there is, you've got something up your nose. Have I? Oh, you mean, uh... <gasps> This! <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a kind of a... Oh, applause. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't get out much you like, do you? <laughs> yes, it's a kind of a foam key that I keep up there for joke purposes. So, anyway, you were saying... Yes. Um, I, I wanted to say that I've watched you grow up very slowly, and I must... <laughs> not all that slowly. Thank you. And I want to tell you that I really, really... What? Really... Hey. Get out, buttocks! It's, uh, it's buttons. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Look at her. How vilely she sweeps. I hate her. <laughs> yes, well, now you're all covered in spit, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I grant you she's pretty. But anybody can be pretty. I was pretty once, briefly, from the back. <laughs> and I suppose she's popular and she can hold a tune and she thinks... She can converse with birds. It's ridiculous. Shall I tell you why I hate her? Oh, right. I hate her because she is the spitting image of my late husband's first wife, whom he loved more than he loves me. <laughs> it's complicated, but it all hangs together psychologically. How are you this morning, stepmother? I'm not telling you. <sighs> and when you finish sweeping, I want you to go and cut the lawn with your teeth. <laughs> and after that, you can go and scrape the bird droppings off the cat. <laughs> <sighs> she a cow or what? <laughs> Still, I must be strong and look on the bright side. I mean, whatever happened to Daddy's little girl? But he used to call me Princess. But now, they work my fingers to the bone. Something goes wrong and it's me who pays the price. They make me slave and still they moan. Though dear buttons is always extra nice. At least I'll have a place to call my own. Just me and a family of mice. Look on the bright side, I've got my head. Still I ask myself When will that special someone come along That someone special I've been waiting for And in that special moment He'll make me strong And make me feel like a princess once more Loves a uniform. Oh, I'm saving up for a week in Benidorm. I love a laugh, me. I'm a new man. Except for Tuesdays, that's me putty night. But please just let him come soon. When will that special someone sweep me off my feet? Look no further, Cinder. I don't do makeovers. <laughs> Can it be? She'll notice me. Just somebody. Who cares?
Ike. Ike. Ike and Tina Turner on the telly last night. Did you see them? <laughs> Cinderella! Come here and bring your backside with you. Oh, she's a lazy slut, you know. That's my ugly stepsister's returning. I think I'll go off and gather some twigs. Remember to boo when they come on. I said to that shop assistant lady, I said, it may look tight to you, love, but to me, it's a perfect fit. You, are you talking about your bra again? Yes, dear. The sheepdog bra by Gusset. <laughs> sheepdog bra? Why is it called a sheepdog bra? Because it rounds them up and heads them in the right direction. <laughs> well, that's nice talk, isn't it? Yes, it is. Nice talk in front of the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello. My name is Lucretia, and this is my sister, Griselda. Hello, <laughs> we've been sisters, well, all our lives. All our lives, all our lives. All our lives. Now, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a supermodel, but I was considered too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they particularly liked my smile. <laughs> Oh, when I was young, I wanted to be a ballerina. That's right, yes. But they said I was too tall. Mm. Yes. <laughs> shame, shame. However, I'm still pretty light on my feet. Well, show them, show them, show right. them, show them. <laughs> now, that's a sight you don't often see. <laughs> Side of a Channel 4 documentary. Oh. <laughs> Brother, come and stand next to me. Come and stand next to me. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. Not only are we sisters, but we are identical, identical twin sisters. <laughs> Tell them what you mean. Tell them what you mean. Yes, right. <laughs> oh, which one are you? <laughs> I don't know. Because we're identical. Oh, it's so confusing. <laughs> yes. But one thing about having an identical twin sister is that we have an almost uncanny telepathic understanding, don't we? We do, darling, yes. I only have to think of, of an animal. An animal, yes. And Lucretia knows what animal I'm thinking I of. I do, I do. Let's give it yes. a go. Now, I am now thinking of an animal. Is it a horse? No. Is it a dog? No. Is it a cat? No. Is it a duck billed no. platypus? Is it a cornflake? No. Is it a hippopotamus? Yes! Oh, I don't know how we do it. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We recognise our talents. There's something else we can do, isn't That's there? right, yes. Now, darling, I want you to put your knickers on your head. All right, and... okay. No, no, lovey, not those ones. <laughs> oh, the ones I've bought. I see the ones I've bought. Sit, yes, now, there we are. You will put those on your head. Yes. You see? Now, I will hide you. See if you can tell me where I am. All right, where are you? I'm here. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm here. Where are you? <laughs> they love a bit of bugle, this crowd. <laughs> it's Standini, valet to Prince Charming. Take your knickers off, dear. It's Standini. But we haven't been introduced. It oh, seems very forward. This one, dear. you know <laughs> Hello, big boy. Hello. You look cheeky. Are you cheeky? <laughs> Good morrow, ladies. Oh, dear, does that hurt? Slapping that. There's a modicum of sensation in my flesh, but it's of no consequence, my lady. So, what is it? He said, yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> uh, we know what you're thinking. Yes, we know what you're looking at, yes. <laughs> we get this often, you know. You can try and tell us apart. Go on, it's you can't. Can you? Try and tell us Go apart. Go on, try and tell us apart. Go on. Is she fractionally taller? You're right, I am. Um, yes, absolutely. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, yes, all right. Can you get on with it? I've got doors to open. Indeed. I bring here the tidings from the Sovereign's firstborn of a soiree this very eve to which eligible maidens are most heartily summoned. 
What's he saying? The prince is having a party tonight. Oh, oh we're going to meet the prince. Oh, I can't believe we're going to meet the prince at last. We're going to meet the prince. I've always wanted to meet the prince. I can feel the blood pumping around my body. My heart is booming away. Now is the winter. The... What's that for? Overacting. <laughs> going on? I bring here the tidings from the Sovereign's first ball. Yeah, 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 all right, mate. Uh, apparently the Prince is having a party tonight. Hmm, indeed. That said, I must hide me hence most royal. He's off. Oh, to summon <laughs> other denizens. Uh, to invite other people. <laughs> Prithee, what order of maidenhood resides within? How many women live here? Speak <laughs> normally or I'll chop your head off and stick it on a plinth. Speak normally or... Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> I reside here with my two lovely daughters. <laughs> and they're both available in every sense. Then here are your three invitations. Uh, uh, <clears throat> there are actually four ladies in this household. Nonsense! Cinderella doesn't count. Why not? Because she's an evil toad. She leaves a trail of filth and slime wherever she goes. Yeah, but even so. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's the prince's express wish that all maidens shall attend. Provided they have a posh frock. <laughs> Bill. Would mention Cinderella. Yeah, sure. Hey, hey, I have to put that bugle in my I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Who is this vision of goodliness in a thought-provoking costume? <laughs> well, here's a clue. <laughs> no, I'm not the plumber. <laughs> I am, in fact, the good fairy. <laughs> it's obvious once you know, isn't it? <laughs> now, what this means in modern terms, it means I'm Cinderella's spiritual advisor. It's a kind of cross between the Archbishop of Canterbury and Eileen Drury. <laughs> what I do, you see, I keep an eye on things and let her know if anything untoward is going on, like the onset of dental decay, <laughs> or if she's made a fashion error, say, an over-snug boob tube. <laughs> I also give careers advice. I actually advised against a career in domestic service. I said to her, I said, lap dancing, that's where the money is. <laughs> but she wouldn't listen. Now, every time I appear, and there are several times, there's going to be this flash, and I don't want anyone to be alarmed, it's just a kind of sonic boom caused, caused by my re-entering the stratosphere <laughs> from the great behind where I normally reside. function here today is to highlight for you all the difference between good and evil. You're going to notice that goodness sometimes needs a helping hand, whereas evil forces are at work. And I don't just mean Leslie Joseph. <laughs> so, that's about the size of it. I'm going to finish now with a poem. <clears throat> You'll see me again, but in disguise. I may be a bat or a swarm of flies. So keep your eyes peeled and stay awake. This panto, Cinderella, enjoyable to make.
It's nice to be out of that castle. <laughs> Just me here, alone, <laughs> with my twigs and uh, my friends, the birds. <laughs> Ooh, what's that you're saying, birds? That my fortunes are soon to change. Ooh, I do hope so. You know, it's great talking to birds. <laughs> At last. Are you having trouble gathering twigs? Well, what do you think? Here. Take my kindling. Oh, I, I couldn't possibly. Oh. Oh, but you must, because, I mean, at this rate, you'll take ages to fill Ooh, your right. basket. Go on. <laughs> Besides, though rather unhappy, I am young and sexy, whereas you're old, raggedy, and, well, a bit smelly. <laughs> Charming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really am a master of disguise. <laughs> you should see my David Beckham. <laughs> anyway, Cinderella gave me her twig, so obviously she is a good person. <clears throat> Another poem. I'll help that Cinderella, because her life's short of laughter. She gave me her twigs, even though she didn't half to. Come on, your old highness, keep up. All right, that's enough. That's enough. But you've only run from that tree. Dandini, I'm a prince. We're not made for jogging, we're made for waving and appearing on coins. <laughs> but exercise is good for you, damn it! Yay! Doesn't that hurt? Yes, it does a bit. <laughs> oh, I don't see the point of exercise. I don't see the point of forests. I don't see the point of anything. <sighs> Cheer up, Charming. I've invited some super girls to the ball this evening. But I'll never find a girl who loves me for myself, whatever love is. <laughs> I never see past my royal paraphernalia. What's that? I have no idea. Hmm. I say, Charming, I have a splendid idea. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> if you're tired of being a prince and you want to know what it's like to be common, why don't you pretend to be me and I'll pretend to be you? Brilliant. All we need to do is swap clothes. <laughs> I don't have to be as silly as you do. No, you don't. Good, good. <laughs> Sire. Yeah? Not pants. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's better. Oh, uh, for the first time in my life, I feel all, all normal and unobtrusive. And, uh, <laughs> And I feel like a prince. <sighs> Let's leave the forest. No, I, I find it strangely restful here. You, you run along. I'm going to stay here to muse and ponder. Muse and ponder? Yes, muse and ponder. I'll away. Mm. Farewell, Dandini. Ah! ah! How attractively she picks up pieces of wood from the ground and puts them in a basket. <laughs> Good day. Hello. <laughs> and what do you do? Um, I'm collecting kindling. Great, great. Why? <laughs> to make a fire. OK. <laughs> Lovely. I'm sure you've seen people collecting kindling before. No, I, I, I don't get out much. You see, I'm a pr... <laughs> a what? I'm a pr... <laughs> rat. I'm a prat. Complete prat. 
<laughs> I'm sure you're not. But you do look a bit in that jacket. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's okay. I'm feeling something I never felt before. <laughs> Me too. Yes. And maybe it's the forest air or, you know, the twigs. Probably the twigs. Something strange is happening Deep inside the forest My fingertips are tingling My head started spinning I just couldn't care less I'm giggling like a schoolgirl Struggling in a new world My best is crawling It's enthralling Falling, I am stalling, I'm falling so helplessly in love. Why do I feel so dizzy? Could it be the moonlight? Some mischief makers messing with my senses, leaving me defenseless, but somehow it feels so right. This madness that I'm feeling A sickness so appealing My defenses are crumbling I'm fumbling, I'm mumbling I'm stumbling, I'm tumbling So desperately Back at the castle. Um, Grisilda wants you to give her a hand with her bikini line. Love. A Midnight Snog by Gavonchi. <laughs> oh, I adore balls. Yes. <laughs> they say the prince holds one of his balls every year. <laughs> and this year, love, we'll be there to see it in person. Ah. <laughs> Of Chanel. You reek of lots of things. And feminine mystique at the royal ball, what we term men's heads. No, I think it's her stomach's your turn instead. Because I've got class. Lots of class. You don't seem to realise, love, that this look of mine is the height of fashion right now. Yes, I'd heard that ugly is this year's pretty. Oh. <laughs> well, what is the point? You never would understand, would you? The meaning? Meaning, dear. You got all the class of a toilet duck. Oh, how dare you! You are nothing but a coarse Bulgarian. Uh, but I've never even been to Bulgaria. <laughs> Listen, I've got style mush. <laughs> You're looking at class. I'm a stylish wench. I bathe in jasmine and I fart in French. <laughs> it looks like mine, I don't need Dior. One look at my face, the prince go quark, because I've got class. Bucket of class. Yes, we got class. You're looking at class. Only. All 
right, I've got a perspiration problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder what he's like, the prince. Well, they say... They say he's very sensitive. Oh, I like sensitive men. Mm. Someone who doesn't vomit after he kisses you. Better <laughs> <laughs> than someone who vomits while he's kissing you, love. <laughs> yes. Uh, Cinderella! Oh, dear. How do I, how do I sort of look? Oh, I feel, let's have a look. I feel oh, a bit sort of... Yeah, look. a little bit shiny. Yes. I, I, I'll just give you a little dab, shall yes, I? Yes, thank you, because there my you power... Are. Oh! <laughs> oh, thanks a million, love. That's a pleasure. Hello there. Huh? You called? Oh. What are you looking so happy about? Well, I met a lovely man in the forest today and we sang a sweet song together. Slut. Freezy. <laughs> well, if you're not too busy, heavy petting, perhaps you'd like to help us get ready. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> Eddie Izzard, eat your heart out. <laughs> well, if the prince doesn't go for us tonight, he can't be a real man. <laughs> Cinderella, if you, if you must go to the ball, you know, what are you going to be wearing? Well, I only have this. Mm. It's simple, but I think it will do. <laughs> You've really no idea, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go the whole hog, love, and wear the hiking boots and the eye patch? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's I could... <laughs> The trippids for a minute. Uh, <laughs> Hold on a minute, wasn't he in South Park? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh your carriage awaits, ladies. Ah. And I've taken the liberty of packing a few extra blankets uh, to keep your fat legs warm. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Oh, nothing. Uh, Buttons, you're a bloke. Could you give me some advice uh, about a lady and jewellery? What do you feel? Well, you know, I don't think a lady is ever properly dressed until she's wearing all her jewellery. Oh, very good then, Buttons. I shall do that. I think it does look very effective, I have to say. It's just, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Bunions, get out. You know, I think she's doing this name thing on purpose. <laughs> so, Cinderella, do you still insist on coming to the ball with us? Yes, because the prince said he wanted all the... What? <laughs> Oh, I've just got back from driving the ugly sisters and the baroness to the ball. It's a posh do. It's very posh. Honestly, apparently they've got real cake. <laughs> So I've got back from... Oh. oh, poor Cinderella. The Baroness is so horrible to her. Yeah, yeah, and she's sweet and innocent and she wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Spiders, she doesn't like. <laughs> oh, no, I know, this is my moment, right? This is my special moment. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell her that I love her. Eh? That'll cheer her. Cheer up, won't it? Yeah. Hello, Cinders. Oh, buttons. Thanks very much. <laughs> I'm very unhappy. Oh, no. I so wanted to escape from my drab existence for a few short hours. I'll tell you what, why don't we play our game of guess which is the biggest lump of coal? <laughs> Just a thought. What's to become of me, Buttons? What's to become of your Buttons? <laughs> no! Oh, just leave me alone. I'm not very good company at the moment. 
Oh no, come on, cheer up, give us a smile. <laughs> no, actually that's quite disfiguring. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till it happens naturally. I oh, know, this is my best impression ever. This is the best impression you'll ever see in Europe. This is fantastic, <laughs> right? Who's this? Anybody, who's this? Who is it? Yeah. Not an alien, but it's a good guess. Bono. Not Bono, another good guess. <laughs> it's Spider Man! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what about this one? Try this one. This is even better. This is probably my best ever, I think. Here we go. <laughs> that was very close. It's, it's Spider-Man 2, the shopping trip. <laughs> I'm on a roll now. Who can stop me? No one. Me. <laughs> Maybe you, yeah. Buttons? Do you know what I'd like most in the whole world? Well, all right, but it gives me hiccups. <laughs> a man who loves me, who I could love back. I, I, I know someone who loves you. You do? Yeah. He loves you with an enormous ardour. <laughs> a what? An enormous ardour. You know, like a, a passion. Oh, if you mean old Mr Wakeley, the blacksmith. No, not him. Although you're right, he has got an enormous ardour. <laughs> no, this man has never ever revealed his love for you. But for you, he would willingly surrender his soul. <gasps> oh, Mr. Norris, the fishmonger? No! Well, do I know him? Yes, very well. You've shared a Mr. Whippy with him. Well, then that's hopeless because I don't love any of the men I know. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, all the men I know, they're just, well, they're dull, you know, or spotty, or weak, or they have really unattractive regional accents. <laughs> They just bang on and on and on about football. Oh, all the time. all right. Football. Yes. Do you know there is one exception? <laughs> <laughs> the man I met in the forest this morning. Yes, I could love him. But, but, but what about me? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you loved him too. <laughs> no, I, 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 I lo Oh, what's the use? What's the matter with him? Cinderella, sweet child, do not despair. Who are you? I am your good fairy, and I've come to help you because you are a good person. How do you know? It was me you met in the forest earlier. You remember? Ooh. But that was a raggedy old lady. Yes, well, quite impressive, wasn't mm. it? <laughs> but I've t come to tell you that you shall go to the ball. <sighs> but how can I in these old rags? Yes, I mean, I... I'm coming to that. Just give me a chance. <laughs> now, there's going to be some flashing now, so anyone with a pacemaker may wish to nip out to the loo. <laughs> Brace yourself, Cinderella. <laughs> Hocus pocus, tickety tock. <laughs> what Cinderella needs is a great big frock. <laughs> it's wonderful, thank you. What's the fit like? And sometimes they're a bit tight no, down the body. Right. Ow! <laughs> your shoes? Oh dear. Glass slippers. It's not very practical, is it? Would you like me to flash again, come up with something stouter? No, no, it's all perfect. Okay, marvellous. Now, we're going to need a pumpkin next. Would a pumpkin? Um... <laughs> done this before, haven't you? Here. Oh, it's behind me. Where shall I put it? Just pop it down there for me, and I'll do my business. Pocus pocus, love and marriage. Turn this pumpkin into a golden carriage. It's a glistening carriage! 
Yes. It's silver and I asked for gold, but apart from that, <laughs> it turned out rather well. Sometimes you just get a golden, big, giant pumpkin. Do you? Yes. <laughs> now, footman next, have you got any little mice? Do you know I have? I rescued these two mice from my stepmother's trap. They broke their legs. I'm nursing them back to hell. Oh, too good to be true, isn't she? <laughs> OK, well, I'll see what I can do. I'd like to pop them down over there. OK. <clears throat> Hocus Pocus. Oh, how long will they be footmen? Uh, they'll be footmen until the twelfth stroke of midnight, when the spell will end. <laughs> then they'll be mice again. Almost certainly. <laughs> Hocus Pocus, sugar and spice. Let's make footmen out of these mice. Excellent. Now, I've got a checklist somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think that's everything. Told, pull, toad, poultice, slug behind each ear, photo of Cliff Richard. Oh, no, that's exorcisms. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. Now, Frog, I've done the pumpkin. I've done... Ah, yes, we're going to need a horse to draw the carriage. Have you got um, any other animals around? A vole, perhaps? No. An old pussy you don't like? No. <laughs> Not even a mangy old smelly one? No. <laughs> oh. This could be ideal, I say, young man. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Um, no, no, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I'm Bottoms. I'm the good fairy, how do you do? Uh, fine. Uh, didn't I uh, see you in the forest? <laughs> Might have done. <laughs> oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> oh, no, he isn't. Oh, yes, I am. Don't keep on about him. It's public knowledge. <laughs> How do you feel, Buttons, about being a horse? How do you do it? Is it, is it with mirrors or computer graphics? No, it's with my magic wand. <laughs> Did you do physics at school? Please, Buttons. I've never asked you for anything in my life before. Ah, well, all right. You'll enjoy it. It'll be a whole new career for you. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Hocus Pocus, Inspector Morse. Turn young Buttons into a horse. Yes, it's me, and this bridle is killing me. Oh. Now, Cinderella, we need to get you to the ball, so pop into the carriage and we'll get a move on. Thank you, good fairy. It's a pleasure. Mm. <laughs> oh, the carriage seems much wider than the door. Oh. Um, do you think you could just do some magic, you know, and magic us outside? I made this mistake once before, Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you'll have to lead the horse out of the house and then the footman will give you a... Uh, you know, helping hand onto the horse, and then you can ride to the party. All right, then. Okay. Come on, Buttons. And remember, Cinderella, you must return before midnight when the spell ends and your dress will turn into rags. OK. Bye-bye. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rose the lady, mm. Rose the lady, sir, mm. Rose the lady, Black Pepper, mm. Black Pepper, mm. Black Pepper, Rose the lady, Black Pepper, mm. Scourers, mm. Scourers, mm. ironing board covers, ironing board covers. I'm only trying to earn a living. Now, apparently, <laughs> you can tell a lot about someone's personality from what they're like. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. I should explain. I'm actually the MC. Oh, yes, I'm the MC at the ball. It's my job to announce the guests as they arrive. They get to the top of the stairs. I say their name, they walk down, and they're in, basically. Yeah, it's an old-fashioned idea, but it seems to work. <laughs> I feel as if I'm making so many new friends tonight. I really do. I don't know if I've made more friends tonight or since I joined the chat lines. Hmm? 
there's, uh, there's Vince and Alan and uh, Brian, Bob and Martinique. There's Gary, Larry, Matthew, Mark and Maurice. There's Gaston, Justin, Trevor and Fred. And now and then I call them from the phone by my bed. Oh, there's Eva, Sheba, Mandy, Margaret, Mark, Mazette. There's Bessie, Jessie, Bertie, Barry, Bernadette. There's Lottie, Dottie, Theophilus and Joan. And now and then I call them from the downstairs phone. Oh, there's Sid, Cheryl, and Jerry and the Bendigo. There's Pat and there's Matt and there's Bess and Michelangelo. There's Rod and there's Nod and there's Jerry and four Benz, and these are just a few of my chat line friends. That's all right, <laughs> <I'm there. laughs> Someone. Someone is arriving. It's the Duke and Duchess of Croydon. Yeah. And it's funny to think that Julius Caesar might still be with us. If only he'd gone like that. <laughs> the Swiss family Robinson. An elderly man with a stick. Yeah. Gonna go for a mingle. It's all right, I went earlier. <laughs> How about a dance? That's awfully sweet of you, Dandini, but I never dance with other men. <laughs> oh, bulls, 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 bulls. I'm sorry? How I hate them. They only agreed to come because I've got to marry to find a son and heir. Sometimes I feel like a rabbit in a gilded hutch, waiting to be sent out to rot for his country. <laughs> and would I be right in thinking you see that as a, a bad thing? The Killer Tale on Camilla Parker Bowles' competition is about to close. <laughs> and that man with the big ears, you've been up three times. Last chance to pin the tail on Camilla Parker Bowles. What do you think of the fillies on offer, though? Pretty good, eh? Well, the truth is, Dandini, I'll never find a woman as lovely as the girl I met in the forest this afternoon. You know, she seemed to like me, even though she thought I was a humble commoner like yourself. I had a great afternoon being prince. Do you get half price in the bakery on the corner? Yes, she just does have a some fun. Man alive! Two daughters, Alopecia and Grissom the Elder. Rusker, time to move in and snaffle the prince. Now remember the three rules when addressing a royal personage. Yes, don't say bottom. You don't yes. ask him out of bowling. Yes. And if you have to excuse yourself to go to the laboratory, when you come back, don't say, oh, I needed that. Oh, daughters, <laughs> you're ready. Off you go. May the best girl win, and don't come back until one of you has a royal rock on her finger. I'll go first. No, 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 me, 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 me. You see, my old nan used to say to me that what you can't see can't hurt you. She died of radiation poisoning about a month ago. <laughs> my name's Lucretia. I'm Prince Charming. Yes, I know. <laughs> Can I bum a fag of you? No, I don't smoke. Mm. I'm not shacked up with anybody, are you? No. You can't really tell in this dress, but I've got a really nice bottom. <laughs> Lovely party. Thank you. Security! Uh, me? <laughs> may I, uh, may I inquire after your lady mother, Her Royal Highness's health? She's very well. Mm. May I inquire after your gentleman father, His Royal Highness's health? He's very well, too. Can we get married? No. Oh, go on, please. Get on with so Oh, do you see the glances my girls are getting? How their hands will be soft Looks and breathing like that can't be bought And the prince with a smile Will take one of my girls down the aisle And I'll assume my place in court These aristos with their decorum don't you just adore them? 
me, I'd like to claw them. Just a joke, always gaze at their beauty. As Queen Mother, I'll make it their duty. They'll come in to their own. And when one daughter sits on the throne, I'll slip out to the back door with the booty. <laughs> Your Highness. I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you too. You remind me of someone I met only recently. Only you are more divine. I was going to say exactly the same about you. You dance like an angel. You inspire me. The strangest thing is happening. Could it be the champagne? I feel like I'm on Dream Street. Could it be the drum beat? You would be You're forgiven giving. for thinking I'm, I'm living. living a rhythm that's Dream driven by my heartbeat. The power is quite frightening. This is so exciting. It's thunder. Bliss to be in Chances of that happening, eh? You know, love, you do realise, yes. don't you, when you've been in a royal palace, what a dump. We live in. Absolutely, we live in a complete dump. What this place needs is the changing rooms treatment. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> However, we've got to be very careful not to mess up our lovely baby doll out Oh, no, because after all, they are made of the purest silk. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. That is why we're so sexy, of Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> right, we've got the paper ready. I'll be up here. Yes, all right. You're doing the wrong side. <laughs> the wrong side of the paper. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, I'll do that later, shall I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, you've hung that one up there. Yes, right. Da 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 dee. Da dee da dee da dee. Da dee da. Well, it's luck you've transformed the place. Yeah. <laughs> Give me 
a lift, hasn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, we'll do the next one. This time you hold the paper and I'll paste it. Yes, right. I think that's better because this one wasn't awfully well done, I don't think. And I'll take that off you. La 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 la. La 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 Griselda? Yes. <laughs> My dear, we are behaving like two very common guts. You're quite right. Anybody would think we didn't have class. Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> Let us continue yep. with the decorating in a very nice gentlemanly way and the old girly way, and then at the... <laughs> and um, We've all got our secrets, haven't yes, we? Yes, indeed. <laughs> and at the end we'll have a nice drinky winky. Absolutely, okay, I'll do the ceiling. Yes, you do the ceiling. All right. Make sure it gets a good coating Absolutely. because it is, after all, the. <laughs> Will you stop mucking about? <laughs> Dear me. We're never going to get a decorating done at this rate, are we? Pay to see such a thing. <laughs> Nearly made a mess there. Yes. I feel very weird. I feel really weird. You know that feeling you get after you've been a horse the night before? <laughs> you know that feeling? That's how I feel. Ooh, strange. And I didn't sleep very well at all last night. I did... Oh, I woke up at... <laughs> at what? And I went downstairs for a snack. Not much, you know, just a few sugar lumps. And <laughs> I went downstairs, and do you know the ugly sisters were still drinking? Still drinking at three o'clock in the morning. Just like Mum and Dad, eh? Sort of to think what sort of mood they're going to be in this oh. morning. Oh. 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 Morning! Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, would you like me to fry you up some nice runny eggs? Oh, get out! Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go and uh, clean my room. Oh. oh. I can't think why we feel so awful. Oh, I don't know. I mean, after all, only, what did we have to drink? We had two pints of Baileys, a yes. couple of night nurse shandies, yes. 24 pints of Guinness and a meat pie. <laughs> I think the meat and the pie must have been off. Oh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, be quiet, the lot of you. 
Who was that woman the prince kissed at the ball last night? Uh, some piece of totty from Monrovia, I expect. Yes, yeah, somebody come over here to steal all our blokes. Yes. Ronnie? <laughs> Did you go to the ball? Yes. I was that close to getting off with the prince. Close. He spent his whole conversation with me undressing me with his eyes. He called for security. That's to stop me leaving, love. <laughs> the truth is, you were both useless. Oh. I've seen dung beetles with more allure and poise. <laughs> I spent a fortune sending you to an expensive finishing school. Admittedly, it was in Luton. <laughs> and what do I get? Two clumping half-wits who couldn't muster a burp in a fizzy lemonade drinking contest. Oh. Oh, Cinderella, you must hate me more than ever for keeping you here last night. No. I had a nice time. You seem very happy. Do I? You did stay in, didn't you? I might have. It was you, wasn't it? At the ball last night. Sorry to interrupt. Um, Prince Charming and Dandini are here. I asked them to wait in the Tarrant room. Oh, yes. Yes, I thought you might like a moment to make yourselves look, well, less ugly. <gasps> I don't think I'm going to let you meet your beloved prince, do you? But we're in love. In love? I don't care what you're no, in. I know where don't you're put going. Me in the you're again. going in love. easy being pure evil. It takes years of practice and special voice exercises. <laughs> Prince Charming and his valet Dandini. Get down there, go on. Hi. Hi. Good morrow, <laughs> ladies. Yes, whatever. What are you, um, what are you looking at? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> hey, Prince, Prince, you, you'll, you'll love this, right? A, a quick impression, a quick impression, right? Who's this? It's the cause in 15 years' time. <laughs> oh. Oh. We come in search of a guest who left a glass slipper at the ball last night. She was a pretty girl with titchy feet. Whomsoever the item befits shall procure full haughtily the royal hand. He said, whomsoever the item befits shall procure full haughtily the raw hand. Oh. <laughs> it's mine! No, 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 it's mine, it's mine. I distinctly remember taking it off when I went on the bouncy castle. <laughs> I was, it was very popular, that, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. Nearly there! Actually, uh, I met someone rather fantastic at the ball myself last night. And whomsoever this shoe befits shall procure... <laughs> She's nearly there! Fits. Well, congratulations, Ryan. She's only got two toes in. <laughs> I always wear them like that. <laughs> <laughs> My turn, please. Try it on me, if you don't mind. Aye, aye. <laughs> it fits, it fits. It fits. I, I don't believe it. I fear it does. It fits. Oh, this is my lucky day. I have been the princess. This is my destiny. This is my fate. Ah, but it's not your foot. Oh, you... <laughs> Noise. No, it's nothing, it's nothing. Help! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Help! 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 Oh, I love that song, don't you? Is there anyone else in this house who went to the ball? Yeah. Well, in fact, no. I'm terribly sorry. We can't help you. There's nobody here you want to see, so you better and you're get You're absolutely now. sure there's yes, no one else here. Absolutely yeah. certain. Yeah. So, yes, someone else did go to the ball, didn't they, boys and girls? 
Who was it? Who went to the ball? Yeah. yeah. Where is she in the cupboard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sort oh. this out. Yes. Oh. It's Cinderella. Is that your thing? Cinderella? No, it's Barry. What do you think? <laughs> I shall bring forth the slipper that she mayest try it on. I'm doing it now. That looks a pretty good fit. I'm sure we can take it as red. No, no, rules are rules. I must insist. <gasps> oh. Now no one can get married. <laughs> but I have the other one. Ah. It fits! Yeah! In which case, I have one question to Don't ask you. No, stop! No stepdaughter of mine can get married without my permission! Oh, no, shut up! No! 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 Don't you want to get down on one knee first? OK. <sighs> With such small feet, do you find you get stuck in the ground? <laughs> oh, that was going to be the big romantic I thought you were going to ask me to marry yeah, him. Down. What's the question? Only joking. Oh. <laughs> Cinderella, will you marry me? No. Because you see... No, wait, 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 wait! I love... another. Oh. No, I'm only joking! <laughs> of course I'll marry you! Oh. Candini! I want you to go into the street and tell her on to gather to celebrate her forthcoming marriage. We're going to have another ball. Oh. <laughs> And I love you too. What, what about us? What about us? What about us? Yes, 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 your Royal Highness. What about the Mitchell brothers? It has been agreed that the ugly sisters shall not be harshly punished, but shall clean out the palace kitchen from top to bottom twice a week for a year. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> could do that. In that case, I shall summon two of my burliest guards to seize you and carry you away. Oh, oh, thank, thank you! you. Oh. <laughs> I'm really very happy. I can't thank you enough. But you, I mean, what are you going to do? You could be chief <laughs> footman at the palace after we're married. What? We're getting married? No. <laughs> Oh, you and the Queen. <laughs> Sorry, I got mixed up. Me too. No, there's no need because I have met another. <gasps> I'll be with you in a moment, darling. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I was halfway through a Guild of Good Fairies Tupperware party <laughs> when I heard the news. Well done, Cinderella. Thank you. You will do something with your hair, won't you? <laughs> Hello, Prince. Hi. We met at your party. Remember me? I was the old gentleman with the stick. Yeah, yeah. We chatted about the importance of stuffing brown paper down your trousers <laughs> in the winter time. <laughs> You're going to look after Cinderella for me? I shall treat her like a goddess. Well, whatever works within the context of your relationship. <laughs> Plus a bad living in a play. We're lucky that we tend to turn our by in the end. Swore all when we and our best friends. All this bonding drives me round the bend. Princess every day, every day the trick flies. You'll know my words, she'll come.
come to grief Why the Prince picked her Simply beggars me be. And all she'll want for Christmas Is a two front teeth This fairy hasn't lost his touch That's a relief Our pantomime is over. Cinderella's found her prince. True love here has triumphed. So soon away, I'll mince. <laughs> so goodbye, everybody. Please mind how you go. We've all got other lives to lead. So that is the end of our show.